and welcome back to Street Beat. I'm your host, Lisa Germani. Today we are talking to organizations dedicated to improving women's health and empowering young girls. Synthera McNeil joins us from the Youth Step Show and Resource Fair. Thanks for being here, Synthera. Thank you. What is Save Them? Well, Save Them actually is an initiative to help with health promotion and disease prevention for adolescents. Mm -hmm. So it started in 2012 as part of my doctoral project in looking at barriers to health education for adolescents. Mm -hmm. And then it evolved in 2014 into a 501 nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that looks at a creative way to get youth to be empowered and take accountability for their health. Okay, and what are some of those youth organizations that participate in this annual event? Well, we have a lot of organizations that mm -hmm. participate, but since today we're talking a lot about youth and young women and empowering mm -hmm. young women, we mm -hmm. have one organization in particular, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, which was founded in 1922, mm -hmm. they have a mentoring arm just for young women aged 13 through 18, and mm -hmm. their group is called the Roar Club. And Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated is a national, international organization, and most chapters have this youth organization. And so the Roar Club has been instrumental in every year, this is the fifth year that we've done this, and coming mm -hmm. out and being leaders for their peers. I mean, these are high school young women mm -hmm. that are coming out. They come out every year. They set up a table. They show their community and their peers what leadership looks like and what mentorship looks like. Uh -huh. They do community service. They are all about sisterhood. And so this mm -hmm. is just one organization, but there are many. There are many that, the, the organizations that cater to young men as well as health that come out as well. Okay. Let's go back to this Youth Step show and mm -hmm. resource fair. So what happens there? It's a fun time. <laughs> so, you know, I found that we do a bad job in terms of trying to lecture our youth about health or in terms yeah. of in a classroom setting. So this gives a non-threatening kind of fun environment for youth to not only learn about health, but to teach us about their perspectives related to health, mm -hmm. as well as their behind the scenes and picking the themes for that year. Mm -hmm. And they also do are some of the judges, but mm -hmm. most importantly, they are part of the teams. The youth are the teams. They are the educators at this particular event. Mm -hmm. And then we have fun things like a photo booth, a DJ. We have over 40 to 50 youth organizations and um, organizations that come out to support the youth as mm -hmm. well as uh, food and uh, other activities that go on. What are some of their perspectives on health? I'm interested to hear that. What, what's their feedback to you? Well, one of the things is that, you know, they don't want to be bored. And I, yeah. as an adult, I can understand. Yeah. They want to come out and have a, a good time and learn as well. Mm -hmm. So this gives the power in their hands. This is, gives them the power to be the educator. They use music. They'll use dance. They'll use their perspectives on what they've learned and what they understand mm -hmm. to teach not only us as adults, but to teach their peers. Mm -hmm. So they want something that relates to them, music, dancing, something that youth really enjoy to mm -hmm. do, and using that as a platform to educate us about what are what's bothering them is it bullying is it mm -hmm. depression is it suicide mm -hmm. and using this creative form mm -hmm. to kind of get that message across and speaking of education how do you educate young women about preventable diseases well, one of the things that we do with young women particularly mm -hmm. is that, like, for example, this year, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated is actually having their regional conference mm -hmm. in Detroit that weekend. That means that there's 11 states, including Michigan, that will be here on that weekend. And we're going to actually bus in the youth groups for Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, over 100 young women from the surrounding states to this event this year. Oh, wow. We want to show them what locally the organizations mm -hmm. are doing for adolescents. And hopefully mm -hmm. they'll take these ideas maybe back to Indiana. Indiana, Missouri, Minnesota, mm -hmm. and would we'll create something like this that helps youth to be empowered to take uh, take control of their health. Mm -hmm. So we're actually busting in young women this year from all around the region oh, and fantastic. exposing them to this kind of health initiative. So what are the health goals, would you say, for this Youth Step Show and Resource Fair this, this year? I think the health goal is about really promotion, mm -hmm. health promotion, getting, getting the youth while they're at this impressionable age to understand about diet, to understand mm -hmm. about exercise to incorporate these lifestyle changes now while they're in high school before they get to college so that they can already know kind of what things to look forward mm -hmm. to. How much sugar is in a, uh, a can of pop? How mm -hmm. much sugar is in a, a piece of candy? Can we make smarter choices and maybe get a salad instead of french fries? Mm -hmm. These kind of things you want to incorporate in them early so that as they go about their life, they don't have type 2 diabetes, right. some things that could have been prevented by just knowing how to manage your diet, manage your weight, make smarter decisions in terms of health screenings and, and, and the importance of being overall accountable for your own health. Your mom and dad will not always mm -hmm. be there to tell you that's wrong, so now you need to learn it on your own. Right, so this is essentially how you're teaching them to 
empower their own health. Right. Essentially. Giving them the tools and surrounding them with community mm -hmm. resources so they have no excuse not to succeed. Okay. Do you think that young adults will relate to step dancing as a healthy fun activity? Well, <laughs> yes. You know, the, the concept came from, as I'm a member of Stephen Gamma Rose Sorority mm -hmm. Incorporated, and a lot of the historically African-American fraternities and sororities use stepping as a way of communicating mm -hmm. on the college level. So they really associate stepping with kind of being in college, mm -hmm. higher education. So using that with the high school mm -hmm. students will get them already interested into, mm -hmm. okay, I know that stepping is related to sororities and fraternities, yeah. and I know fraternities and sororities are on college campuses, yeah. so it kind of like gets them to expand their, their whole vision mm -hmm. about their future and getting them exposed to something that's fun and entertaining, but they have a, a specific goal of teaching through stepping, mm -hmm. so they're using just stepping as a modality to yeah. teach us. Thank you, Cynthia. And thank you so much for your years with Save Them. We thank appreciate you. having you here Thanks. again. You can join the Stomping Out event on April 8th. For more information, go to savethemdetroit.org. Thank you for joining us today. Hope to see you again next week for another edition of Street Beat. Until then, have a great weekend.